The holiday season is here. We'll tell you about a couple of events happening in the city, the rise of AI, and what is going on in Caddo Parish. Let's get to it all. Roll it, Kyle. This much closer to Christmas, one of my favorite holidays, mostly because of the food and the football. Let's talk a little bit about some business going on. Speaking of food and football, State Representative C. Denise Marcel is here with us. Now, we're going to get to the legislative stuff, but there's a couple of events happening this weekend that uh, you're responsible for, uh, even more so than maybe you, okay. you want to be. Uh, right. On Saturday, and Kyle, we could put these graphics up. On Saturday, you've got uh, a Christmas event toy giveaway, and then there it is on the screen the Santa Road Show that's happening uh, from 10 a.m. to noon. Let's talk a little bit about that event. Uh, yeah, thank you for inviting me you to be it. on your show. You uh, that event is an annual toy giveaway that I sponsor every year uh, with the help of a lot of people. Thank you for your sponsorship. You're welcome. Uh, and the Cajun Navy, YWCA, Gordon McCartan, so many people that come together to make sure that kids who uh, need toys will mm -hmm. get those toys. Yeah. And so we'll be at the Gus Young facility on this Saturday, giving many, those toys away. How many folks you expect out there? I'm expecting about 500 uh, kids to show up for this event. And that's about what we had last year. It could be more. It's nothing like coming to events like that and when the doors open and the kids come in and they see what's happening. That's, that's probably, my kids are all grown now, but that was the thing about Christmas that I enjoyed the most is the reaction that kids have to getting toys and that whole thing. Yeah, and what my event does is kind of different from a lot of the other events. I allow the kids to pick the toy that they want. Mm -hmm. So all the toys are out. Well, if you want a basketball, you can choose a basketball. If you want a doll, you can choose a doll. And there's so many gifts out there for them to choose from. I, I certainly want to thank all of my sponsors because it would not be possible without them. Yeah. Uh, we also have uh, the Santa booth where they can take pictures. All of that stuff is absolutely free. And of course, we always feed people at mm -hmm. Gushung. So we'll have snacks for the kids as well and uh, a little entertainment. You know, I don't think we often think about the fact that there's some kids who are in homes where there's a tough situation and they may not be able to have the, the same kind of Christmas as, as people in other places. That's why events like this are so important. They are important. Yeah. Let's talk about Sunday now. So your nephew, who plays for the Minnesota Vikings, that's the only thing I can hold against him, is... Uh, is Don't hold that against him. <laughs> so I do hold it against him, you know. But uh, this is an event in uh, Gardeer. There it is on the screen. It's at the Breck Park there. This is from 2.30 to 4. So let's talk about your nephew first and then tell me about this other toy giveaway. So my nephew uh, went to school, elementary school, and he lived in the Gardeer area. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get him to move this event, but he's not hearing it. So he wants to give back to the neighborhood where he started right. uh, from very humble beginnings. And last year he did it when he was at LSU. Mm -hmm. And so this year, obviously, he's uh, in the NFL. Yeah. So he wants to continue the event where we give away toys and clothes to yeah. the kids in that area. Uh, they can come in, pick the same type of event as Gus Young, except that these kids will have an opportunity uh, to, and uh, their parents. Mm -hmm. We'll have an opportunity to get free clothes yeah. and the toys that they need. Next time you bring a graphic with him, though, don't have him in the Minnesota Vikings jersey. I don't <laughs> want to see that on my screen again. I did it for you this time. All right, let's talk. So the new year is beginning, and the new administration is coming in, obviously. Uh, and, and there's a philosophical change, obviously, between John Bell Edwards and, and, uh, and, and Attor Attorney General, Governor-elect Landry. What do you expect from the new administration? Well, uh, first of all, I, I'm going to be optimistic okay. and say that I, I hope that there is some fairness in the committee selections, and I hope there's some leadership by women mm -hmm. in those committees and also African Americans and Democrats. Yeah. I, I think that this state is made up of Democrats and Republicans, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be one-sided. Right. I do believe, however, because there's obviously more Republicans than Democrats, mm -hmm. that we're going to have committees that um, are lopsided. Mm -hmm. We had many of those last time. Uh, I just want uh, to have some fairness in the debates, and uh, we both can agree to disagree on some things, but mm -hmm. I, I would hope that those debates would be civil. What do you expect in the way of a special session? We were talking about this a second ago. There's going to be one early in the year. Uh, is there anything about that you can tell us? 
Well, first of all, I, I think when they heard that I was coming to be a legis uh, in the legislature, uh, what, eight, nine years ago, mm -hmm. they decided to have a special session every single time. <laughs> so I, I think the special sessions started when I showed up because we've never so not had fault. one. I okay, think it's my right. fault. Okay, all right. Let's start with that. Uh, I think that we're, we're going to see um, us go in. And I think the map has to be already drawn. Mm -hmm. If it's not already drawn, although we haven't seen it, um, then it's impossible to get it through. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to push something through um, H and G mm -hmm. and um, try to get it passed. The, or there will be this delay, one or the other. And I and and you know I think ultimately it's going to be a delay. Minute, Kyle. I think it's ultimately going to be a delay anyway because. Yeah. Um, the maps that we've already drawn, in fact, the a bill that I carried was in the lawsuit. Mm -hmm. And so we could really use those maps. I think they're fair, but they're, I don't think, I don't see them accepting those maps. They have not accepted them so far. I think they're gonna draw something that we're gonna end up back in court and it's gonna be drawn out again. Right before that session starts, will you come back and talk with us about that? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So quickly here, Kyle, on the screen, if we can, let's start. Let's start with Saturday again. If you're out and about Saturday, there is an event at Gus Young a toy giveaway. It's going to be fantastic being out there. Pretty nice weather we're expecting this weekend too. And then on Sunday, uh, please excuse the jersey this young fellow is wearing, but there's a toy giveaway in the Gardier area at the at the uh, Breck Park there, and go out and support him. Look, I appreciate. I love the fact that these athletes now are so community focused and doing what they do. That's that's amazing. Well, he didn't have any choice. I'm his aunt. <laughs> he grew up giving away stuff with me. I drag him to everything I go to. So he really wanted to be here, but they have a game, so he can't be here. But I think he's sending a video on some other stuff for the kids. So I appreciate him following in his aunt's footsteps. Back in just a moment.